Hello! So in this first video I'm going to show you how to use the multi-template matching plugin in Fiji to perform object localization in a microscopy image and I will illustrate it with um, some uh, sample image of uh, zebra fish larvae as you see here which are sitting in a 96 well plate for the detection of the head. Uh, so the first thing I want to show you is actually how to install uh, this plugin. So it's available from an update site that you uh, install like this. So by clicking this help update, you open the uh, update, uh, updater uh, of Fiji. And if you click on manage update site right here, then you see a list of uh, update sites that you can simply tick to download um, additional plugins. And our one will be listed under uh, multi template matching. So that was for the installation and once installed the plugin will be appearing here. So we are sh shipping a number of uh, plugins. Um, basically the three of those are uh, really similar, it's just that uh, this one uh, is a classical plugin with uh, image input which means that the image should be already open while the two other ones are just um, kind of a batch processing version of it which have either a list of file input or folder input that I show you, and I'll show you uh, later. Um, maybe just before, I just start the uh, macro recorder because um, so this plugin is actually compatible with the macro recording. Yeah, template matching image. So after the execution, you will see uh, the command that is generated. Okay, so. Um, so the first field to fill in is the template, so that's uh, the small image that we want to find in a larger image. And the second one is the image, which can, which can be either um, also a, a single channel grayscale image or an RGB image. Uh, and in this case, uh, internally they will be converted to grayscale because it's template matching is only defined uh, for grayscale image. Or it can be also a stack, and in this case, if it's a stack, all slices in the stack would be um, analyzed and uh, the object would be detected in there. Okay. Uh, then you have some option for uh, template pre-processing, uh, which is kind of generating additional templates from uh, the initial one provided by the user. And the idea is that by um, uh, performing some rotation and flipping, uh, we uh, use additional template for the search and then we have more chance to find the object if we expect such kind of transformation. So in, in my case all the fish are nicely aligned like this so I don't need to do any rotation and I don't think even flipping is necessary. With this uh, uh, unique template I should be able to find every head. So I, I don't take any here, I don't fill in any, uh, any angle. Uh, for the choice of the methods uh, you have the choice for uh, three possibilities which are all normalized. So this is basically what formula is used to compute the correlation map for the template matching. So maybe quickly about the algorithm, how it works is that the, it takes the template image uh, and scan the target image, kind of like this uh, in a, let's say, uh, snake shape. And at every position uh, compute a similarity score between uh, the individual pixel values between the template and the image patch that is considered for that uh, iteration. Um, so it's not a really direct uh, comparison. It's, uh, it's either the difference between the pixel values uh, of the template and the image patch or a cross correlation, some kind of product. But the, the good thing is that um, because it's normalized, uh, it's not looking for um, absolute pixel values, but rather for a distribution of pixel values. So like a pattern. So if my template is, if the, all the pixel of intensity in the template are shifted uh, upwards kind of, uh, then the correlation should be unchanged. So by default, I, I advise to use this uh, normalized zero mean cross correlation, which is a, uh, with this zero uh, mean subtraction, kind of uh, even more robust to a change of illumination. Um, so it's, yeah, it's particularly robust uh, for object detection. Um, now we the second field uh, number of templates expected in each image. Well, obviously here we just expect one head in each image, 
um, which uh, means that the two next parameters, we don't need to play with them. They are only needed when we want to do uh, multiple object recognition. So I won't detail about them. Uh, just um, back to the maybe the, the method, uh, as I said, they're all normalized. So uh, as a result, we also get a score for, the for every prediction. And because it's normalized, it would, the score would be between zero and one. And for a correlation score, a, a good uh, prediction would be a score close to one. Uh, finally, I want yes to add uh, the detected region of interest to the ROI manager of Fiji, and I want to see the result table. Okay, let's go, let's run it. So the algorithm is going to automatically uh, go to the next slice every time, and uh, the detected region are appended to the ROI manager. Um, at the end of the execution, we'll get the result table and also the recorded comment will appear here. So as you can see, um, even though we have quite some variability in the image, um, either change of morphology or like some, some dust or bubbles, uh, the, the method, the, the template matching uh, method is actually quite robust for uh, this particular case. While if, if you would have to do it by segmentation, then uh, you would have to filter out those bubbles and everything. And uh, it requires much more engineering compared to uh, this kind of more universal um, object localization method. So we are about halfway of the processing now because we are having uh, 96 images from basically a, a screening in a well plate. So the, the analysis is about half a second uh, for each image here with uh, this, this picture size, which was uh, 2000 by 2000 pixels, uh, which was the full field of the camera, basically. Uh, now we get the result table. I will just come back to the very first slide. So as you can see, every head was detected. Um, so uh, the result table contained one line for each detection uh, with the name of the image. Uh, the name of the template, so in our case there was a unique template, but if there was uh, additional ones by flipping or rotation, then you would see it there as well. Uh, you get the score also with the for the prediction, so as you can see they're rather close to one, so um, good predictions. Um, and also some uh, pixel coordinates that corresponds to the, uh, for the two first one, this corner uh, coordinates corresponds to this, um, uh, coordinate so the top left pixel of the bounding box as this is actually what is detected in the correlation map initially and then I also provide uh, the center of the bounding of the bounding box here so that you can reuse it for uh, further analysis okay we don't need it uh, you can use the ROI manager to browse through the detected region of interest um, you can also save them do some measurement just like any regular region of interest. Uh, and just to quickly come back here. So as you can see, we got our command. Uh, and if I make create here, it's opening the macro editor. OK, so the command, you found a similar parameter like uh, in the GUI. Uh, and what you would need to change basically for a new image would be those two ones the template field and the image field with the name of the image you would like to use. Um, I will have a de dedicated video to uh, the macro recording. So yeah, I won't detail too much about it, but yeah, keep in mind that it's, it's, it's possible to, uh, to use it in custom uh, image processing. Uh, finally, another um, functionality that I want to show you is that if you have some idea about the position of your object in the image, then you can provide a rectangular search area using this uh, rectangular tool. And then if you run the plugin again, just the same way, you will see that it's actually speeding up everything. So I don't have to change anything. Maybe I won't 
need the result table this time. It was basically the same detection, right? You see that now it's actually much faster, and I think it, yeah, it's even too fast than the, the, the video uh, screen capture that I'm currently doing is not following enough. Even though I put quite a high frame rate, uh, it didn't manage to catch up, but trust me now we're going to slide through uh, the detection. And as you can see, all ads were detected again, but in, this time in a fraction of the time. Because uh, indeed then the template matching algorithm didn't need to uh, search here, neither there. And uh, yeah, as a result, so you could you could uh, simply crop your image, but by doing so, then um, the coordinates of the bounding box would be for this cropped image and not for the initial image. That's why it's it's more convenient to have this uh, search LI. A uh, quick word about the other plugin that we are providing. Uh, so you have one that is called uh, Compute Core Map. So it's just to kind of have an idea of how the template matching is working. So you provide again template image, what method you want to use, and a, a score threshold eventually for the uh, multiple uh, maxima detection, and you get the correlation map. Actually, I can even put some uh, nice uh, lookup tables. Uh, uh, this one, yes, you can see nicely here that uh, the prediction, the highest prediction was somewhere here. Uh, and this is once after thresholding and, look and uh, maxima detection. Actually, the thresholding and maxima detection is only used uh, when we do multiple object detection. Okay, um, other ones. Uh, just quickly, the template matching folder. So it's similar to the uh, initial one I showed you, except that in this case, the input can be either a file pass to a template and an image file, or even a uh, a pass to a folder, and then in this case, if, if you provide a pass to a folder, every template, well, every image in this folder will be used for the search, and uh, every similarly, every image in this image folder will be uh, searched. You can also provide a, a search region, but again, because we are doing kind of a batch processing, this time it won't be by drawing. You have to point to this uh, .roi file, and I will quickly show you how you make it. So again, you just draw it, press T to add it to the ROI manager, you select it. Now if you do more save, you can uh, save in your local, um, some local directory, the region of interest. Okay, I think this is it for uh, this first uh, video. So in the next video, I'm going to show you how to do multiple object detection. So expanding a bit on uh, the score threshold and this uh, max overlap. And uh, yes, yeah, thank you for watching and I invite you to watch the next video.